<laughs> Hello. Welcome to the sixth edition of Le Web. My name is Loïc, this is Geraldine, my wife, who does everything here. I'm just, uh, you know, uh, trying to welcome you all. Who came here um, for the, who, who come, came here for the first time? Can you raise your hand? First time. Oh, you can't. For the second time. Second Le Web, two Le Webs. Three Le Webs? That's getting exclusive already. Four Le Webs? Five? Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. We have six. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's the sixth edition. We started, we were saying here um, that we started with uh, speakers. Um, yesterday, we, the entire Le web was in a room of 100 people. And today, we have registered 2,300 uh, participants. And uh, we have even something even more crazy. We have about 50 countries in this room. So I used to ask, you know, who is from Italy? Who is from Italy? Oh, here we go. <laughs> or, you know, and keep going. I cannot do that anymore. It would take us, uh, it would take us two hours. So the web is 30% growth this year, which I think is great, uh, obviously, for all of us. It means the industry is very active. And it's, it's, not, it's not, you know, it is not just an event. I think it's a community. The reason why we are all here is we share something in common. We share an ecosystem. In this room right now, you have entrepreneurs. You have students. Who are, where are the students? Yeah. So this is a high studio. So this is a new uh, thing this year is we invited 200 students. We cannot accommodate uh, too, too many, but who uh, came here. And they get inspired. We know that many uh, get ideas and then learn and then meet their peers and we'll learn from all the speakers. So very important for us uh, to have them here and anyone who wants to create a company. So being uh, inspired, basically. We um, have obviously used the web as a platform for you to raise funding. We have VCs in the room. We have uh, business angels in the room. We have people, companies who could acquire you in the room. So you have like really everything to get started. And this is also what the web is about, community, and also like a toolbox for you to succeed, and we really hope uh, you keep us posted when you raise funding. Um, and Alexis Bonté of eRepublic raised more than 4 million euros uh, in those corridors last year. So Geraldine, what, what's, uh, what's happening? Do we have uh, new things? We have workshops this year in a new format. We have, yeah, we have workshops in a new format um, during all days for the two days. So you will find the workshop rooms on, uh, on the right side, uh, outside of this building. Um, today, there is um, a lot of workshops. Google has a workshop for the full day. Nokia, Twitter this afternoon, Danone also at the end of the day. And tomorrow, you have also a full program of the workshop for the full day with Facebook Garage, with PayPal on the morning, a full morning with PayPal, with, face, with um, Six Apart and Nokia again. So do okay. not hesitate to go to those workshops. I think it's going to be also a very exclusive and amazing it's, program. Uh, yeah, there's a Facebook developer garage. And I, I mean, there aren't that many places where you can go from three hours with Twitter to a few hours you know, with Nokia and then go to Facebook and meet everyone. So they sent entire teams, and we want to thank our partners for being so present. This is not all. We have uh, workshops, but also there's a lot downstairs right there. Absolutely. There is a lot downstairs. So uh, for those who were la here last year, we are still at the lounges downstairs. You have uh, a lot of our partners there, but also in the Café de Paris. So you can, you can get in the entire room and um, have it for you. Basically. I know that some of you actually never came to the uh, keynote room last year. They just spend their time downstairs, which is one way to see the web. We try to accommodate any way you want to participate at the web. Some people never leave the keynote room and just want to learn. Others will never leave the startups room. So what's happening right there in the, uh, in the 400 room? At 10 o'clock, the startup competition starts. So it will be during all the day. We have 16 competitors. So um, good, luck to, good them. luck to them. And, and you can go there to encourage them and uh, 
and see what all the, the, the great thing they have to uh, disclose. And Very creative companies this year and judge and I would like to thank our judges and business angels for being awesome uh, to uh, judge them and help them actually with, yes. uh, with comments. So yeah, so this is the startup competition which is a tradition and tomorrow in this room you'll have more uh, conversation going on into what we call the deep discussion stage. Yeah, basically it's more uh, panels, round tables, which um, will last a, a little bit more than what you have on the main stage. So uh, We have a, up to one hour panels. Uh, we have uh, awesome panels about uh, enterprise and how the real-time web is affecting uh, uh, the brands, for example, but there are many more. Yeah, so you, we upgraded everything. We upgraded, so just right now where, <laughs> where you're, you're sitting on a technical floor, everything you see, it might not look like, everything you see, the stage, the floor, it was set up in three days by 150 people who are here around and uh, have been killing themselves to make this happen. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank the, you. The, thank web, you for that. the web team appreciates that for sure. So yeah, one, how many? So how many kilometers of cable? I think we have 12 kilometers of cable. 12 kilometers? Yes. Just to connect you guys. So new things you have, uh, um, anyway, I'm not getting into too many details. One gigabyte internet, uh, which is operated by our friends at BT. And uh, we hope it's, how is the internet? Do you have internet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's warm. Okay, well. It's, it's too warm. Yes. Who is? <laughs> so Scoble is complaining because it's too warm. All right. Now I want just you to close your eyes kind of and think about the tens of thousands of people who will follow the web outside of this room, which is obviously a challenge because what we see is each other here. But last year, 40,000 people watched and follow the web on the live stream. And so you cannot wave back at me, but you probably see us. So just say hi on the... On the Twitter, uh, on the Twitter stream, if you if you if you see us on on Ustream, but I believe if all goes well, you can follow us on Ustream and also on your iPhones. Don't use your iPhones to follow the stream in the room. You have us in real. Please don't. Because that might be a little challenging. BT loved when we said, "Oh, we are launching an iPhone app." Oh, you, you'll hear about it uh, later on. But yeah, it's awesome, and we hope that we'll break the 40,000 people who watched us. With that, to finish with, I'd like to just talk to you about the theme. Um, we think it's super exciting, and it's rarely been a historic moment on the internet as what's happening right now. We're very, very far away from the Sequoia presentation, which was all gloomy and terrible, made us sad. And um, I think we're really changed into a world which is still tough, obviously, which is not crazy, and that's probably good but where we have seen the last week more than $2 billion of, of mergers and acquisitions, of AdMob getting acquired by Google for $750 million, uh, Playfish, Apple never acquires a company, and they bought Lala. So this is, you know, there is really a new activity here. If you start by the uh, mergers and acquisition, some of them being in the room, Zappos, Tonissier was acquired by Amazon for more than a billion dollars, he's going to speak tomorrow. Um, and so if you look at that, it actually changes the entire scope because then you get more funding. The investors, when you have more acquisitions going on, will tend to invest more. The business angels are investing a lot in uh, Silicon Valley already. It's not difficult to get funded these days, again, which is fantastic news. The only thing missing, I would say, is probably the IPOs. And um, so we expect, I'm hoping we see next year the IPOs of LinkedIn, of Facebook, we hope, or Zynga, <laughs> um, Sismic not yet, um, I'd love to, but that might be a little early. The real-time web, now they give me the transition, uh, which is the center of this theme of this entire morning, will, is, is extremely e exciting. I mean, think about it. Facebook and Twitter have now our identities, have become our identities. When you go to a site, you log in with your Facebook credentials and Facebook Connect or your Twitter uh, using OAuth. This is really new. What's really new as well is that applications can tap into and get millions of users in a matter of weeks 
more and more on Facebook or on Twitter using those social software, using those two big APIs and now many more APIs, as I said, LinkedIn and Ning are going to all be here and, and share that. So this is a huge opportunity for you as entrepreneurs, which is the one I've chosen myself, obviously, with Sysmic, but that's another story. And um, the second central theme, uh, and that'll be it, um, of uh, the web this year is obviously the um, mobile applications. So um, there are more than 100,000 applications on the iPhone. There are tens of thousands on the OVI store of Nokia and on Android, which is growing very nicely, obviously. The good news is there is revenue for all of us to be made on those platforms, so you will have a lot of content and a lot from our partners, Orange and others, uh, around this theme as well, uh, with an announcement actually from Orange. And so, very exciting. Take the best experience possible with the web this year. What's coming, I have no idea. We have to decide. We have to make what's coming. But two things that might come. Uh, one is, I think, going to be geolocation. Huge in 2010. Uh, obviously, you have to see who signed up, who signed in on Foursquare in the room this morning. <laughs> Here we go. So, so Foursquare wasn't even in France two weeks ago, I think, or three weeks ago. And the other one, I think it's a, it's a connected object. So uh, I'll, I have a, a... Oh, okay, I'll do it now. Yeah. But so uh, this is a... Uh, <laughs> This is a Wi-Fi... I, I won't do it, obviously. Geraldine won't do it. I this is a Wi-Fi scale. So you can weigh yourself, but nothing new here. It's made by French people, so I had to show it. But so if I go here and I put myself on it, it's going to... I'll show you the result uh, there. It should tweet my weight uh, in a few minutes. And that's the first... What? Oh, I'm, uh, am I... Oh, okay, well, let's start again. Here we go. I... Um, so... I'm he wanted to hide his weight. Right, so I have my shoes and everything, so be nice yeah. with me. But that should, <laughs> that should be twittering over uh, Wi-Fi, if the Wi-Fi is up, and then Twitter my weight, and you can follow the graph. I'm saying that Don't because... Move. Stop moving. Because it should be... Um, oh, yeah, I don't need to move. Here we go. Here we go. So One I have three. shoes. Huh? Be nice with me, please. So anyway... <laughs> yeah, well... Anyway, and so this, I think, is, is cool, of course, but uh, so it tweets it and it posts to Facebook, but this is a new huge theme that's going to happen. It's connected objects that will send status update. Now I can get off of my scale, and I'll show you uh, uh, later uh, the result. Uh, actually, you can probably see it on Twitter. So anyway, have a great low web, and uh, we hope you really enjoy. Anything, yeah. Geraldine, you want to add? No, very, uh, have very good days, two days here.